We've got breaking news into Texas Tech football as Taz Brooks announces on his social media that he is set to return to wear the scarlet and black in 2024. What it means for the Red Raider offense moving forward and what can we expect for an encore from the senior running back? Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's R.C. Maxfield here for the Back to 12 podcast. If you're excited to have Taz Brooks back in the mix for another season out in the 806, spam the like button right now because this is a huge deal for the Texas Tech offense. And really, this is why NIL is great for guys like Taz Brooks. When it comes down to it, where was he going to get drafted in the NFL draft? Let's be real, probably around the fifth round, right? He's going to have the chance to make more money due to NIL and stay in the scarlet and black and be one of those historical figures when it comes down to Texas Tech football. We'll talk about where he currently stands in terms of the all-time rushing list for Texas Tech and where he could potentially end up realistically considering the season he had in 2023 and what this means for the Texas Tech offense because this is a day where you have a notch or two go up in terms of expectations for Texas Tech offensively in 2024 with some of the talent that they've landed in the transfer portal and some of the talent that is expected to produce next year, whether that's from the 2024 class in terms of, you know, the Micah Hudson's of the world or maybe the DJ West or the TJ West, excuse me, the DJ Crest, guys like that, right? But you have your building block next year for Taz Brooks in this offense, and it is absolutely phenomenal. If you are excited, as this is breaking news, as this is instant reaction for me in terms of Taz Brooks announcing he's coming back, it's just another reason for you to hit that subscribe button and like the video and really just be a part of the most engaging community here on YouTube in terms of a Texas Tech community, I should say, right here on the Back to 12 podcast channel leave this scrolling down there below but again Taj Brooks he posted the Wolf of Wall Street video with Leo on there I'm not leaving that's not the word that they use in the video but um it's awesome man this is a great day and a great start to a week for Texas Tech as they are set to play Cal later on this week in the Independence Bowl we're talking about a guy in no uncertain terms that literally carried this Texas Tech offense to bowl eligibility right The fourth leading rusher in all of college football for the 2023 campaign with over 1,400 yards rushing, 1,443 to be exact. The only guy in the Big 12 that had more rushing yards was Ollie Gordon at Oklahoma State, and he won the award for best running back in the country, right? This is a guy in Taj Brooks that's going to make everybody's life easier. And when you look at it from a historical perspective, and that's what I kind of want to do for Taj, you look where he is going into the bowl game right now in terms of all-time rushing list at Texas Tech. He sits at seven. Henderson's in front of him. You've also got Washington. You got Bam Morris, Ricky Williams, James Gray. He's right now just under 3,000 yards. Okay, and when you look at this, and that's the thing, 3,000 total rushing yards for his career at Texas Tech. There's a scenario where he goes down as the all-time leading rusher for Texas Tech. He needs 1,200 yards to do it, just under it, or just over, excuse me, 1,200 yards. There's a there's a scenario where that happens. Is it likely? I don't know. But if I would have told you that Taj Brooks would run for over 1,400 yards in 2023, you probably would have called me a little crazy. And that's exactly what he did. So if he even just comes close to replicating what he did in 2023, in 2024, he will go down as the all-time leading rusher in the scarlet and black. That is something that I'm sure was on his mind when it came down to it. He got his degree from Texas Tech. Shout out to Taj for getting the work done in the classroom, as well as the gridiron. That was a big thing for him and his family. He's talked about that multiple times. He also probably going to get a bet. Let's be real, right? And and, and deservingly so. This is what NIL is about, okay? I know some people get upset about NIL and everything, but these are the players that benefit the most from NIL. The stars 
that maybe aren't going to get drafted highly in the NFL draft. And no, that's no fault of Taj. He's absolutely a productive college player, but maybe it doesn't translate to some NFL scouts, right, when it comes down to his skill set. I still think he's going to make it in the NFL, but there's an opportunity with NIL now and the success that he's had out in the 806 that he could potentially make more money at Texas Tech and have that, you know, hey, I can go out and get another degree potentially at Texas Tech while making a ton of money, maybe even more or at least comparable amounts of money to what he would get as a fifth round pick in the NFL draft. Not to mention he has the chance to potentially prove to NFL scouts, hey, I did it one year, right, in terms of I put 1,400 yards on the table. If he goes out and has another 1,200-yard season, it's like, hey, now we got to talk here. I'm good in pass pro. I proved to you back-to-back -back years I can get 1,200 yards rushing or over 1,000 yards rushing, and I can be the main guy. Because when you look at Taj in his career, you had the Sir Roger Thompsons. We understand that. But this year, he was the guy. And in no uncertain terms, as I mentioned earlier, he literally carried Texas Tech offensively to a bowl game. So when you look at what Taj Brooks means to this offense, it, it's – uncomparable. I mean, there, there's no way you could have gone out in the transfer portal and gotten somebody that could replicate what Taz Brooks did this year for the Red Raiders. And now you don't have to worry about that. He's back in the scarlet and black. You see Cameron Valdez go to the portal. I caught wind that maybe this was possible. And to be honest with you, it was one of those situations for me personally, where it was, I'll believe it when I see it. And now that Taj put it out on social media and you have the opportunity now, if you're Zach Kitley, to have that run game, you're going to have Micah Hudson. Baron Morton will be healthier, right? The offensive line should be a bit better. This Texas Tech offense should take that proverbial next step with Taj Brooks back in the Red Raider backfield in 2024. And he's got a chance again to go down as the all-time leading rusher in Texas Tech program history. This is what NIL was built for. I am so excited. I know you guys are too, but show it to me by simply liking the video down below. This is a huge day for Texas Tech. Just an absolutely unequivocally huge day for the Red Raiders, not only offensively, but I think for Joey McGuire and crew as well, because there was a lot of talk on social media with all these guys headed to the portal. Oh, did Zach? Kit this is a Zach Kitley offense problem. No one wants to play for Zach Kitley. I mean, your point's definitely wrong now. Todd Brooks wants to come back and play in the scarlet and black. Yeah, there's other aspects to this, right? I get that. But the main focal point of your offense wants to come back and play in a Zach Kitley offense. Throw that Zach Kitley garbage out the window when it comes to players don't want to play for him. Get, get that out of here, right? Get that out of your mind. It's absolutely unequivocally false. And if you see somebody try and spread that narrative, call them out for it because it's ridiculous at this point. You get Taj Brooks back now. The offense changes completely and for the better. As I mentioned earlier, obviously having Taj back, phenomenal. You're going to have a healthy Baron Morton, at least presumably. Your wide receivers can't be worse than they were this year in terms of separation. They just can't be, including a guy like Micah Hudson coming in. That's going to be great. I'll talk about it in the next video about a tight end that Texas Tech just landed in the portal. Your offense should be better, and they're addressing offensive line needs as well. Now you have your focal point. You were wondering, hey, what are we going to do with no Taj Brooks next year? You ain't got to worry about that, at least for one more year. And now Taj Brooks has the chance one more time to go down as the all-time leading rusher in Texas Tech program history. Just an absolutely monumental announcement from Taj Brooks, Maynard, Texas finest right there, as he will be back in the scarlet and black in 2024. If you're excited one more time, be sure to hit that like button to have Taj Brooks back. I mean, again, it was one of those situations where I caught wind of it, but I, I, I was only going to believe it when I saw it. And now you got this tweet from him. This is a huge day for Texas Tech football. I'm RC Maxfield reminding you, if you want to join the most engaging Texas Tech community here on YouTube, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button to stay in the know right here on the Back to 12 podcast channel.